And we're back. So we're going to install Python in an IDE called Wing on this video. And I'm just going to go to the python.org. Hello. No, not now. It'll last me that forever. And I'll need like two days to go change that. Python.org. I think it's python.org. And we want to download the latest. And now I gotta remember which one it is. All right. So where are you? This is the fifth maintenance release. Which is that? So there should be some. Here we go. I want to make this easy, guys. Uh, recommended right there. Not what I want. Uh, I want this to be an installer. Yeah. Okay. We're downloading it. I'm not hesitating anymore. So as that downloads, everything's ready. All right, well, let's go install it. Downloads. And as administrator, click, click. No. I want to, yes, go add that to the path. User for all users. Let's do customize install. Yes, we want pip documentation. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Try to fix that. I don't care. I want to bring the user here. Integrate that later. No. Yeah, that's fine. It made the path easier. Um, Nah. I'm going to change this directory to something. Ah, stop. I guess I did click that. Called Pythons, because I'm going to install more than one version of Python, I think, here as well as the IDE to this directory. And we'll see this much later. And we're going to install. Ta -da. This is a really easy install. I say it's easy, but it's still inching away. And we're coming into the home stretch yet again for this magical progress bar. So exciting, so wonderful. Should have stuff in the stuff directory, Pythons. Hey, look, it's all there. Disable path limit. Change your machine configuration to allow programs including to bypass the sure. That's a great idea. You never know it until it's way too late. So we'll close. And that should install. And yeah, there's idle. Do something like print. Oh, I can't type again. Click in there. Print. Uh, I guess we do the hello. Hello, world. World. Boom. You've got Python running. That's awesome. So we're going to close this. We're going to go over back down to downloads. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to download uh, something called Wing. It's an IDE designed for Python. I like it. You can use whatever you want, obviously. I'm going to download Wing Pro. Wing 101 is free. It works. It's great. If you're just starting out with this, it's fine. I used to use it for a long time until I decided to give these wonderful people some money and I bought my Wing Pro and I want to download oops what did I did I download the wrong thing cancel I always should read what I'm downloading before I do it okay now we can save Wing Pro and let's see it's downloaded at this point right yes yeah, got a check mark up there and it should be right here I don't like the way these folders are to you 
where in the hell did he put Mode View? <laughs> so like last last century on some of this stuff. Options. Options. Yes, change folder. I should have tried this. I should have done this before, but I didn't. Um, yeah, do that. Show. No. Yes. No. Yeah, the other separate. I think that's all I really care about. There, go. All that to get the UXE. So now I'm going to go here, and um, yes, it's going to change my device, and I'm going to install the ID. Yes, I accept the license. Go. I don't want you there. I want you in my stuffs, my Python stuffs. Yep, back, 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 back. And do it. Wing Pro 7.2. Install. Coming in to the end again. Finish. Wing Pro. Starting. I ask me some crazy questions when I start up. I haven't started this one brand new for a long time. Oh, they ask me about license information. Except. Drum roll, please. This looks like that's done, so I'll get rid of that. And my downloads. Close here. I'll do a 10 minute emergency session. Um, I'll put my key in here after you guys aren't looking. Um, like it, if you if you don't have a key and you need to do something really quick, it lets, lets you go in here for 10, 10 minutes and do something uh, in emergency mode. Um, it comes with all sorts of cool things, which we'll go over as we do it. The shell, for example, again, we did the print. Hello again, and it works right. Um, it's pointed to the. It should have picked up the Python path that we had before. You can change that. Um, we can create a new guy. What's this do? Uh, well, let's put it in dark mode. Can we do that here? It might not let me. Oh, it did. Without a license, I didn't know. So I was just say. Um, but let's just do create a simple function hi uh, name just off the top of my head say print we'll use the new And just say hi uh, up in the end. Me. Oh, tester, right? Tester. I am going to create this thing called uh, Wing First Program. I am going to put it in my roots. Let's go to that. Script. I spelled that wrong. This is annoying. Scripts. We'll say Python. And I'll create a directory called copy. Copy table. Put junk in there. Gets going to get gross. Clean it out. Time to temp area. Safe area to program and put stuff. And uh, just have a run. So if I run that guy, boom. Yes. And there. No debug process. It didn't work. Why not? Well, what did we do wrong? Let's just try a debug again. When all else fails, 
this guy there. Yeah, that worked. I just don't know what I did before. Hi, Pastor. You know, it's a very sophisticated program here. Let's try it again. Stop. Go. Go. All right, Tester 1. Okay, so our environment's set up, and now we're going to go off and start uh, building little build, build blocks on how to um, create environments and some tools on top of that, which will use uh, SQL Server, Windows. We'll do some Windows stuff and SAP stuff and some other stuff. We'll probably start off with some encryption items here coming up after this so we can put passwords and stuff in a nice, safe place. Anyway, that's it for this one.